what is up youtube zuki m1 here um so <laughs> funny story about this video i accidentally had um I, apparently my mic wasn't picked up when i originally did the audio so i had to re-record over the video so um for the sake of time i'm just going to do the deck profile and then i'll do the three matches in a separate video so uh today i'm going to be talking about the godramon deck that um was recently supported in bt16 uh obviously we're in bt17 now but it definitely is a deck that went under a lot of people's radars and i wanted to try to highlight that today uh so <clears throat> for the eggs i run four of the veximons Veximon uh, will trigger a lot in this deck because you will be running a high number of options. So you're going to always be able to get a draw for that uh, in conjunction with the Renamon. The Renamon has the on play of two of your opponent's Digimons who have 4k or lower DP can attack. And then also once per turn when a option of two or more is played gain a memory so it makes your options just a little bit cheaper so those four costs become three costs the five costs become four costs and so on and so forth so pretty good card nonetheless um i think i was going over like all the other uh the synergy between the two um the egg and the the red of mine which should be kind of obvious sometimes i'll be ranting <laughs> all right so next we're talking about the agumans it has the inheritable when a four great dragon uh trait card is placed or i mean is yeah placed or played uh draw one card so pretty good uh draw power in the deck so um i don't oh uh, i think i was also talking about like um Okay, never mind. Uh, so next, we're talking about the Patamons. Patamons is obviously the enabler for any type of vaccine build. So if you're running any type of vaccine deck, you kind of almost is forced to always have to play a Patamon in your deck because the card is just insanely good. Just being able to get free uh, evos and then resetting your security to trigger off your messengers of peace on the following turn or the same turn right like it's really really powerful it enables a lot of plays especially in this deck because a lot of times we can really pop off from just a level five and then just uh use the options to do the rest of the work as you see me talking about right there so uh the patamon is extremely important to the strategy and you desperately need this in your uh in your deck if you're going to be running this next is the vidramons it has the when did you evolve effect so it doesn't have an on play just only when did you evolve in search the top four grab a dramon and a four great dragon trade card and add it to your hand so it's a potential double hitter and uh the inheritable is the exact same as the Gatomon, which is um on uh when you play a uh when you play a card with the traits for great dragon, you can give it rush for the turn. Um, and Gatomon has the, instead of a when Digivolve, it has the on play effect. Search the top four, grab an angel, which as you can see, we have about eight of the Magnamons and the Anjawamons. Or you can add a trial, so the, uh, you can add a card with the traits for great dragons in it. So that's about 16 tar no uh 12 targets that you can grab the the gojermans the gojerman x anybody's and the uh trials of the four great dragons so got a lot of options to choose from with the gatomon then anjuwaman is the only one that we play that is intended to be played in this deck uh it has the effect when did you evolve in place a uh trials of the four gate dragon this does get around cards like shavara who says that you can't play options you're not playing an option you're placing an option and then you can trigger it the following turn because it's already been placed so nice little interaction between that and shavara or anything that would prevent you from playing options so uh it also has the added effect of it applies a negative 3k onto something and then uh the inheritable also allows you to apply a negative 3k when you place a um 
four gray dragon card on the field. So either an option or a Digimon. And then obviously we got the, I think I'm still going over like how to trigger it twice between the 300 um, when Digivolving and then the other one. And then Magnemon, uh, it's just a good card. It's just a good card. <laughs> and there's, there's a couple times where like you're a pass on Gato and then um, they will try to swing. You can drop the Magnemon and then the following turn if you have the Trials of the Four Gear Dragons already in play. You can tribute that and then get the Inheritable of Gatomon to give your Gajamon Rush for the turn. So you'll be able to do quite a bit of damage that turn as well. So pretty, pretty, pretty good combination between the two. Also, it's just really good recovery. Like Overflow 3 at this point is like negligible. You know what I mean? Like it's not really that big of a deal. Um, all things considered so definitely something that you shouldn't be afraid to use I've definitely dropped in multiple Magnemons without a single can the world um, I think here I was talking about the Godramon X anybody and how I can't talk about it until I talk about the Godramon first so this Godramon is from BT 14 it has the on play and when did evolve in effect of play the tokens um, both the red and blue token one has rush one has blocker and then when he either leaves the field or is digivolved over, he deletes the tokens. And mind you, it doesn't have to be both tokens. He just has to delete a token with his effect. And if he does, you get to recover. So what you want to do is, is you want to swing with the rush token. It dies. Then you digivolve over your Goldramon into Goldramon X anybody. You swing with the other token. It it may or may not die not sure then from there you can swing with the Goldramon. the Goldramon x anybody has raid so you can raid into other targets if you need to and when digivolving he activated options so like god uh god flame or trials of the four gate dragons to draw a card or um dragon's breath right so you got a lot of options to choose from for the Goldramon to be able to trigger and then uh, when it swings into something um, you can activate something well not swing into something if it just swings at all you can activate it's when digivolve in effect again to play out the options so an insanely powerful card very very good and I think I was just kind of going over all the scenarios that you can apply your Gojermon with because um, the cool part is is that the on play triggers from off the trials, right? So when you activate trials, it activates its on play effect to spit out the two tokens. So that's the reason why the on play is there because you're going to be triggering it off of trials of the four grade dragons, which lets you cheat out your level sixes to get a lot of advantage early on. Um, so. And I'm also talking about how, like, you can apply the negative 3K from off the uh, Anjouamon as well. And now I'm finally touching on Godramon, but I kind of went over it already. So, you know, um, I guess I could talk about a little bit more about it as well, because it does also has the entire effect of Godramon underneath him. So if you did evolve over a Godramon, he will inherit their entire effect, including the when digivolving of play two tokens and also to uh, if he leaves the field, delete all tokens on your board and then recover one. So um, even if it just deletes one, it still gets the recovery effect. So when you're if you're playing against this deck. You would have to delete both of the tokens to prevent me from being able to recover, which is quite detrimental, I will admit. It does hurt quite a bit because the deck is really good at being able to recover because you're going to be spitting out your level sixes like crazy. Um, so definitely want to make sure that you keep track of your resources. You really only have two ways to recycle your stuff, which is the God Flames. Um, I would have wished that we could have increased the amount of god flames but the problem is is that you know where do we cut because everything else is super crucial to the strategy maybe messenger for another god flame but that's about it 
This is me talking about the only tamer that we run in the deck, which is TK. You're not a super memory reliant deck. You don't really need memory like that. Um, you just need trials of the four great dragons so you can do your plays. So even if they put you at one, as long as you have trials in the battle area already, you're good to go. Um, because the following turn you can just pop off and do your thing. Um, and Trials of the Four Gear Dragons, it has two effects. The first effect is uh, um, when play, draw one. And then the delay effect is what you really care about, which is trash this card to play out a uh, play out a Digimon with the trait Trials of the Four Gear Dragon. I mean, no. Um, it It's just Four Gear Dragons trait. Yeah, that's what it is. And then I'm talking about God Flame. God Flame, unfortunately, is not searchable in this deck. It is playable in this deck, obviously, because Godramon can play it for free, but it is not searchable. So sometimes you will whiff that card and put it to the bottom of your deck. But you kind of need it in your deck because this is the only way to recycle your Godramons when they go to the trash. You will be going through your Godramons extremely fast in this deck. So you definitely got to make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, four Dragon's Breath. So this came out in BT16, same time as the Godramons. Uh, it has the... Uh, main effect of search the top four grab either a yellow card or a trials i mean a traits four great dragons in it um and when it comes out of security which is probably the best part about it it applies a negative 7k to your opponent's digimon for the turn um so during the following turn you can trash this card with the delay effect to place a trials of the four great dragons into the battle area so that's another way to cheat out your uh, trials outside of the Anjouamans. And once you do, you'll be able to apply a negative 7K. So if you have multiple of these, you can stack them all up and be able to remove anything that's on your opponent's side of the board for the most part. Right? Because most things don't have protection from DP uh, minus. So uh, being able to apply that during your turn and then getting benefit off of it by placing an important option card like Trials of the Four Gate Dragon in the battle area is just so much value. So much value. It's really, really good. Because uh, with two of them, that's negative 14K. That's deleting most uh, megas. Um, with three of them, that's 21K. So if they were able to retain all of their DP buffs until the end of the next turn, you can just up trash three and then... Uh, be able to apply negative 21k uh, i'm talking about messenger uh, uh emissary of hope which is it's pretty much an uh a way to be able to get to your line as quickly as possible everybody knows what it does at this point um if you control a vaccine you can digivolve into from a level six or lower on top of it but you got to go in order so if you got a level four on the board you can't go into a six you got to go into a five unless they has a special rule like how uh the armors do where you're allowed to digivolve into like magnamon because he says in his rule i can digivolve over an armor form for this price but you're cheating out the price because the messenger allows you to cheat it so pretty good but yeah that's the deck hope you guys enjoy it, and i will catch you guys in the second part with the matches